Are you considering relocating to the Raleigh area and you're wondering what a great city would be to live in that's near Raleigh? This suburb has been underrated for so long, but it's definitely up and coming. And that's no other than Nightdale, North Carolina. Now, Nightdale is on the Eastern side of Raleigh. And when I first moved here, I had never heard of it myself. And I was actually talking to someone in passing. They mentioned they live there. I said, where is that? And I was super intrigued because they were talking about how they lived in the country, but yet they were only 15 to 20 minutes away from Raleigh. And I was like, that sounds right up my alley. I originally relocated here from sunny Southern California and I was so close I could practically touch my neighbors. So knowing that I could be in the country, but yet close to the city, I had to go for a drive. And let me tell y'all, when I came out here, I absolutely fell in love with the mix, just like they said, of country living where there's horses and cows, but just minutes away from some of my favorite staples like Target and Walmart and hopping on the highway and being in Raleigh in 15 minutes, sign me up. So today I'm gonna to be discussing the pros and cons of Nightdale, North Carolina, reasons you may or may not wanna live here. If you wanna find out more of that information, stay tuned, we're at it next. Hey y'all, I'm Brandi Niemergut with eXp Realty, local real estate broker right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna learn all there is about what it's like to work, live, eat, sleep, play, and yes, everything in between, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click that little bell and you'll be notified every time we drop a new video. My team and I get calls from people like you every single week that are considering relocating to the Raleigh area. All you have to do is reach out to us, either by email, text, or give us a call. However you wanna get a hold of us, we got your back when relocating to Raleigh, North Carolina. Some people describe Nightdale as a sleepy city or it's too far out there, but is it really? Let's take a look. So currently, there's approximately 19,500 people that reside here in Nightdale, North Carolina. Now, so one of the number one pros that I love here is the location and the easy access to the highways. Now you're gonna find that there's really quick access whether you take I-440, I-540, or even the 64. That's one thing I love is the easy access, not only from the major highways, but there's even a lot of back side and country roads that you can take to get to cities like Zebulon, Wendell, Clayton, and even inside Raleigh. Now, depending where you live in Nightdale, you can get to Raleigh anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. And there's literally so many different... You can even hop on the I-87 and go to Window. There you'll find a major store like Publix and they also have a really quaint downtown that has some breweries and some live music throughout the week. There's a lot of cool, fun little places to hang out. Another pro is the affordable housing. Now the median price is approximately $402,960. Now in comparison to Raleigh, which is approximately $450,000. Now in late 2022, there's approximately 83 homes currently available on the market, and they're gonna range anywhere from 250,000 for a three bedroom, two bath house that's approximately 1,200 square feet. And these are homes that are built approximately in the 1990s, and they're gonna skyrocket all the way up to approximately 1.2 million, which is a brand new home over 3,700 square feet. Now, if you take away the new construction, then you're gonna be looking at a high price point of approximately 700,000. And that's gonna get you approximately a 3,000 square foot home that's about five bedrooms and four baths. And that was built in 2019. So you can see Now let's jump into a con, and that's the distance to the RTP. Now the RTP stands for the Research Triangle Park, 
And that's where a lot of the jobs are that are in the biotech and technology fields. And it's gonna be approximately 30 minutes from Nightdale to drive. Now, depending where you're coming from, you may or may not consider that a long commute. Again, I'm from Southern California and our average commute times could be 45 minutes to an hour. And again, that's mostly because of traffic. So I feel like it's a pretty easy flow getting from Nightdale to the RTP. But again, if you talk to the locals, most people only wanna drive 15 to 20 minutes to get to their job. So when you start talking 30 minutes plus, especially if there's traffic or an accident, some people count them out, they're done. Now, for example, my husband actually works in Cary. And from our house, it takes him about 25 minutes to get to Cary, which we don't think is a big deal. He hops on the I-540 and it's a pretty straight shot. But again, if you actually lived in Cary or Morrisville, it would only take you roughly 10 to 15 minutes to get to the Research Triangle Park. So that could make or break things for you. If you want double the drive, you know, you're gonna live in Nightdale. If you want the shorter commute, you're gonna wanna live in a city that's much closer to the Research Triangle Park. So definitely something to keep in mind depending on your tolerance and your patience when it comes to commuting. And if you wanna live in a less densely populated area and you don't mind the commute, you may definitely wanna consider Nightdale. But if you like being more in the hustle and bustle of things, then you'll wanna be on the opposite side, which would be Carrier Morrisville. Now, another pro is you can shop local. You don't have to go into Raleigh if you don't want to. We have a lot of major box brand stores here, including Target, Walmart, Kohl's, Best Buy, Lowe's, Home Depot, you name it, we probably have it. Now, another pro is you can eat local. We have some great restaurants here. Whether you're thinking of having a steak, we have Saltgrass Steakhouse, which I think they originated in Texas, but they have some huge steaks, baked potatoes, salads. If you love salmon, jalapeno poppers, you name it. They have a carrot cake that's this big, absolutely delicious. And if you love fresh fish, definitely check out Annette's Kitchen. She has some awesome fish tacos, country boil, yum. Now a not so fun fact was in 1940, our original downtown was actually burnt down by a fire because we didn't have a water system here. But fast forward, some of it has been rebuilt. So we still have that little downtown. And as time's gone by, we've expanded and I feel like we're starting to get a newer downtown as well. We have La Mexicanita Bakery, and they have really delicious desserts. Um, then there's First on Main, which is a venue spot that you can rent out. And then they also have a groomers, which is the Soapy Dog. Then on the newer side of Nightdale Station Park, you have Oak City Brewery, and that's a fun little place to go if you wanna just hang out, have a beer, sit and talk with your friends. It's very kid and dog friendly. They have picnic tables outside. They have rotating food trucks each week. And then certain times of the month, they'll also have live music and they do annual events there. So it's a lot of fun. Then there's Prime Barbecue, which is absolutely amazing barbecue. He was a renowned chef. I think he was, I think he was on Chops. I don't know why I can't say that. But he has the absolute best brisket I've ever had. My daughter loves their pulled pork. Mac and cheese is so cheesy and delicious. You can't go wrong. They even have peach cobblers. One of the things that I absolutely love about the owner, Chris, is he 100% supports our community. He supports our veterans. He's just a stand-up guy. But definitely, if you wanna try this place, you gotta get there, usually before four, because he sells out. We also have a new kitchen concept restaurant here called Crafton. And it's really cool because there's multiple restaurants under one roof, but you can actually 
sit at the same table as your friends. You can each order from a different restaurant if you want, and the server will bring everyone's food to the same table, and you either can split the bill or pay it all on one bill, which is really nice. They have indoor seating, outdoor seating, and if you go upstairs, there's a little fireplace area, lights, super chill and fun. And recently they started doing live music on certain nights as well. Definitely family, fun, friendly environment. And they have a bar if you just wanna go have a drink and chill by yourself or with friends. So when you think about it, we have about every genre of food that you can think of here in Nightdale. So you don't have to go to Raleigh if you don't want to. So in Nightdale, we have about every genre of food that you can think of, but if not, we're a quick 15 to 20 minute drive to Raleigh. Now, one of the cons is there's not a lot of di diverse food. Now, while we do have a lot of good places to eat, you're not gonna find the super trendy restaurants that you'll find, say in Raleigh, Cary, or Morrisville, or even Durham. Again, it is getting better, but you're a quick 15 to 20, up to 30 minute drive to other cities if you're looking for something different. Another pro is the great outdoor space. Now, Nightdale has Nightdale Station Park, which is over 71 acre park. And fun fact, it used to be a nursery prior to it being a park. Now it's super cool. It has the playground, which is a short distance from Oak City Brewery. You have the dog park for both small and big dogs. You have a splash pad for the kids. You have the pool at the YMCA, which is on the opposite side. You have soccer fields, and then you have multiple walking trails. Um, they're all paved and some are wide open and others go into the trees um, and, and loop around the, the park. So it's definitely a wide open space that's enjoyed by many. And if you love to play tennis, check out Harper Park. They have tennis courts, pickle courts. I've never played pickleball. I don't know if it's called pickle court or pickleball court, but it definitely seems to be all the rage these days, but I have yet to try it. And if you want a quiet place and you want to fish or walk within the forest, check out the environmental park, which is right behind the library. Now, I had a hard time finding it at first because you're actually parking at the library, but if you park in the very back, you'll notice there's a little trail and it'll take you right in. There's some bridges that you can pass. You'll see some running water. Definitely have your fishing license because you do need your fishing license, but um, it's fun even just to explore with the kids. Sometimes we take our Girl Scout troop out and we have them find certain things and talk about nature. It's just a great, peaceful, quiet walk. And with that, I'm gonna move into another con, which is there are not a lot of trendy places to go or things to do. Now, what do I mean by that? Nightdell does not have a movie theater. We don't have a bowling alley and we don't have our own golf place, like a little putt-putt place. But it does have all the basics of what you need here, and housing is a lot more affordable than some of the other surrounding suburbs. And it's definitely had its fair share of growth, and it's continuing to grow. And again, if you don't mind a 15 to 20 minute commute to Raleigh, so if it's not here, you don't have too far to go. People ask me what my personal thoughts are of Nightdale. And to be honest, I love it. I love it so much. I bought a house here and currently reside here. For some reason, when we moved here, it wasn't a top place to move when I did the Google search. Personally, I think that's because, like I mentioned earlier about commuting, people think a 30 minute commute, 20 to 30 minute commute is too far to go. So they'd rather be, you know, in some of the other suburbs that they have a 10 to 15 minute drive. But for me, coming from Southern California where there's traffic everywhere, 30 minutes sounded like a dream to me. And as housing prices continue to rise and people keep getting pushed further and further outside of Raleigh, I truly believe Nightdale is an up and coming city and is a really great viable option. We have so many friends who live here and love this community and businesses that really come together to make this a really great place to live. 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, if you can please hit the like button so other people like you can find this video information as well. And if you're considering moving to the Raleigh area, whether it's Nightdell or any of the surrounding suburbs of Raleigh, whether you're looking for acreage, a master plan development, a townhouse, a condo, or even a place at the beach, all you gotta do is reach out to us, let us know some of the things you like or don't, whether you have to commute or not, just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. However you want to get a hold of us, we got your back when relocating to Raleigh, North Carolina. Till next time, we'll see y'all later.